yeah, the ML um, machine learning textbook app. And this app teaches you how to learn. This app teaches you machine learning and um, AI. And uh, I'm making this app in um, in Swift and Xcode. So this is just for iOS. So in the future, I might add a Android version of this app. And this is basically a series on how I make this app and the things I learn along the way. So it's like a devlog series. So it is a devlog series, but you get the point. So um, yeah, so this is a progress. So this is devlog number one. And this is a progress I've done so far. So so far I have um I've I made like the main screen with a header and a navigation list. I meant a view, navigation view, and um and then you could click on these stuff and it'll take you to um the corresponding chapters. So um there's data preprocessing, regression algorithms, classification algorithms, clustering algorithms, dimensionality reduction. Um, model selection boosting and neural networks so I'm I'm working on the first one and um, and I set it up the I set up the main um, the main like the first page you get to when you're trying to learn ML so uh, when you're using this app so um, let's just go over the code um, that I've um, you know done so far so first of all, um, I use SwiftUI. I don't like the user controller, like the other um, way of making apps in I in Xcode. Um, I don't know why, but I just prefer SwiftUI because I like using it. And I like doing stuff with, like just programming stuff. So I like um, SwiftUI a lot. So that's why I'm using it. Um, and it's also very good. So, um, so I have some. Uh, I have some views, so destination page view, and this is like just a separate view, and it's not gonna be. I'm just gonna replace this view with like something else, such as regression algorithms. But I'm done with data preprocessing. So we have another view, which is the data preprocessing view, and this is the view that I am working on right now. Um. So yeah, so there is this separate page, as you can see, data processing. So I'm not using this data pro processing view um, right now, but um, I'm not using this view, but it will be useful um, like to just, you know, make like rough outline of what I want. So this is the main, so this code, the content view, this is the main, this is the main, um, uh, you know, main piece of code that's going to happen when you start the app. So it has a VStack. So the VStack allows you to align specific components on your um, device, on your uh, emulator. Uh, I meant on your app. So there's that. Wait, why is the... I think I did something uh, weird here. Um, It's not working. King, okay. Um, let's just do that. Much better. Okay. So something weird just happened there. Um, uh, let's run this app and see if it works. Okay, yeah, it works. So um, if I go to the data preprocessing window, you can see that. Um, it takes me there in the data to the data. Okay, this is the data pre processing view. I don't want that. I want data processing, just the processing. That's the view that's right here in this. So, this is a separate um, code, and this is what it looks like. And we're just taking this view and putting it inside the main content view, as you can see. Uh, I meant. Yeah, so which is right here. So it's like a nat. So um, first we have the header text, which is this header text right here. Let's resume this. So this is what it looks like. So I put this on top of the V stack, and then on the and on right on the bottom of it we have the navigation view. This navigation view is this thing, like the chapters and the features of the book of the ML textbook. So um, as you can see, one of the navigation link is uh, data pre-processing and inside it, I have linked it to the destination. So the destination is going to be data pre-processing. So if I click that button, it's gonna take me to this page. 
where I can learn all about data pre-processing. So I've used, so it's not, so it's pretty simple. So I've used that and then um, I've also added another um, lot of, you know, I've also added another, um, other navigation links so I could navigate to other stuff. I will, you know, um, change this destination to like something else when I'm done with that view. So I'm just working on data preprocessing for now. So that's why I um, leave, left it like that. So let's run the app and check it out. So um, if I were to go to data preprocessing, you can see that um, uh, there is the text and it tells you all about data preprocessing. And if I were to go back, uh, I could go to regression algorithms. So this is just a, um, this is just like sample sample stuff. So I could like delete this and put something else here. So I'm just working on the data preprocessing page for now. So um, yeah, um, let's go. Let's go to the let's go to the data preprocessing um, view and let's talk more about it. So as you can see, I have a B stack with alignment of leading. So um, it goes to, like the left side. So it aligns itself on the left side. And then there's spacing, so the spacing is between the stuff, and um, and and then I have all the components that's gonna go inside of the um uh, the V stack. So I have the data preprocessing, which is the main header that's gonna talk about what this chapter is all about. Um, I fixed some parameters, so I made it as the title, and then I have also made it bold, and then I have the main text which um, talks about data preprocessing and what it is. And then we have a spacer. So this spacer, so let's just say if I just delete this spacer, look what's gonna happen. It's gonna just, it's gonna have this ugly space. Like it's gonna um, center it in the middle. It's gonna align it in the middle and it's gonna look ugly. As you can see, it aligned it like on the middle of the screen and it doesn't, it just look, it just looks weird and it just, there's like a lot of space up. So we can um, delete that space with this function and we can uh, move it on top now. As you can see, if it's, uh, it's loading and yeah, as you can see it worked. So um, there's that. So now let's go back to content view. Let's go back to header text. So the header text is like the uh, main thing. Um, like the, you know, what this app is about, like the name of the app, basically. So the name of the app is ML textbook. So I have used some parameters and dot font and um, parentheses dot system. And I use that parameter to fix the, um, the size and the weight. So I could change this to like light to like dark or something like that to make it more darker and more bolder. So that's pretty much it. So in the next devlog, I will be finishing the data pre-processing window. I'll be finishing the data pre-processing window and then I'll be on the regression algorithms. And I just wanted to show you guys one more thing. So I've been trying to use this library called Markdown UI to render a markdown inside Swift UI. And it has a lot of issues. I mean, as because when I try to like use it and render markdown, it doesn't work a lot. And it's just pretty ugly, so I'm still trying to figure how to use that in my app. So thanks for um, listening to me, and I'll see you guys in my next devlog, and uh, I'll showcasing, uh, then I'll showcase my progress on the next devlog. So thanks.